How's it going guys? It's Wheelie, and today on this new video we're going to be talking about the latest trailer revealed for Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. Uh, if you guys don't know, it will be linked down below, but Pokemon has done a first, or I'm not saying first reveal trailer, but a first trailer in a while on Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. We're going to discuss what was in the trailer and of course give you my thoughts. Um, quick, quick up uh, shout out, I did do a full discussion on my my main thoughts on Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. That will also be linked down below, so go check it out if you have it. And before we get to the video, I do want to remind you guys that I am running a giveaway here on the channel that we'll be running all the way to the end of the month. And we are I'm going to be giving away a copy of Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon, whichever one um, that I'll be giving away is on you. All you have to do is subscribe, like the video down below, and of course comment which one I should be giving away Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon with your Twitter handle in the comment section down below. You guys uh, can't wait. I've done this giveaway last year with Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. I am continuing it with Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So make sure you uh, enter the giveaway. And yeah, you guys, let's get right into the video. So this trailer that they revealed, you guys, is only 55 seconds long. And they gave certain snippets. Um, that we're gonna digest. I'm not gonna make this video too long, um, only because first of all the trailer wasn't long, and we're just gonna, uh, you know, talk of what we think is gonna happen. Um, obviously, you guys know. We, well, if you don't know, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon is basically Sun and Moon. Um, and if you actually, I, I'm gonna record, but if you actually look at GameStop and you pre-order Sun and Moon. Um, they practically call it an expansion for Sun and Moon, so I don't know. I don't know you, but yeah, they call it an expansion for Sun and Moon with new adventures or new adventures. Um, but you guys, uh, practically Sun and Moon is more than likely revolving around a story with Necrozma. You can see Necrozma looking like it's mixed with. Um, Smell something burning when it's what? Mixed with a new the legendaries from Sun and Moon, which is Lunala and Sol Buleo. So that is happening. Um why do I smell something burning? So we do know that it's gonna be a mix of Lucrosma with the past legendary Pokemon, you guys. And sadly, good old Zygarde isn't getting anything again. Sorry, buddy. Now, the start of the video, guys, is practically just showing you the starters, which, again, hasn't changed. We're still going to get Poplio, we're still going to get Rowlet, and we're still going to get uh, Litten. Um, I started Litten with Moon, and I start, well, Sun, and then starting uh, with Rowlet and Moon. I got both. Don't ask me why. But that is not going to change. You're still going to have these same starters. Um, it's most likely going to be like black and white. It's probably going to take on a little head in time, which is going to confuse me because you were the first champion ever. So some, that means you either lost and you're starting all over again or you're someone else or you're probably a relative, relative to you lost. That would be pretty cool if you were a relative to the champion. So um, I was taking on a little ahead of time. You'll be the relative. Um, we already know that Ultra Beasts, you know, they, they come from a different universe. So they still have to make a story out of that. But as for the starting, it looks this, the same. Um, now, they also showed something, you guys, of the character running past a certain building. They would not be sh showing this in the trailer if it doesn't mean something. Um, the, the trailer itself is a little all over the place. Um, but I think that th that in itself isn't too important because he's running past it if it is something part of the main storyline he would go to it maybe cut off there but since he runs past it and if you look really close to the picture um, I'm gonna try to post the picture it looks more like something for clothing or something for your Pokemon so it has it most likely has to do with maybe happiness with Pokemon or something that has to do with your Pokemon maybe you could finally put clothes on your damn Pokemon or you gotta put clothing because they did introduce later on in the trailer 
that there's more customization to your character. Um, I don't know if this is starting of the game or this is, you know, throughout the game, but they did show a lot more um, customization to your character. I didn't take a screenshot of that because I don't think it's, to my opinion, too important. We want to go to the story, to what the game is going to be about. Uh, but yeah, you are going to be able to, I guess, be more customizable with your character. Um, they also finally announced the officially uh, the Black and Rock Dusk form. Um, you guys know my thought on that. I did a Black and Rock EX box opening for it. Um, and interesting enough, you guys, they did say that he uh, Rock Rough evolved, oh, uh, evolves to it, but a certain rock rough can only evolve into dust form so you can't just go catch yourself a rock rough and evolve it to lichen rock dust form only a certain rock rough can evolve into that lichen rock form and you guys i'm going to show you a screenshot right now boom and something tells me um that this this is the certain rock rough that you're going to have to walk around i think it's going to have to be through happiness or through friendship it's gonna be something you guys you guys are seeing a little something on top um, now I may be wrong and this may be like a little side mission you guys know there were side missions but I think you guys that this like this rock rough has to do with that certain like rock that they're talking about um, I believe I'm not a hundred percent sure about this you guys but I believe that when you uh, pre-order Ultras and Ultra Moon you get a certain rock rough so I think the only way to get that like rock is pre-ordering I'm not a hundred percent sure do not quote on me on that I know last last time on Pokemon Sun and Moon you got a uh, certain uh, Munchlax which evolves with to Snorlax and you got a Snorlax Z move so I can practically see that this certain rock rough that you're gonna be getting um, or do you have to get to evolve into like rock dust form it's going to be a pre-order to get, you know, more sales because this is my real question, you guys. And you guys might uh, see this in the title. Um, is, are you hyped of getting a game that is practically just changed um, and just added additional Ultra in front of it? I mean, yes, they could, they have, like, potential more, more stuff. They did show a new character or new a uh, new character to new um at least from what i think when i saw the trailer i don't remember um the campaign that much because it's so long but they did show two characters i think they're brand new to the story mode but but i mean it, they have to have some way for people to buy the game um practically again since this is the same game you're getting the same starters, just a different story mode. It's it's adding more story to it instead of making it a practically like a DLC, which Pokemon never does that. They're not known for adding um, DLC to their game. So what you know, they have to bring something to bring to hype you up. Now a lot of people are getting excited and they're like, "This is my game. I am getting this game." You already know, like if you've watched my video, I am not too excited. I am gonna get the game. I'm gonna play it, but I'm not so hyped that I'm gonna go and I'm gonna be there at midnight release and all that because of it of it, it just being Pokemon Moon, but it has Ultra in it and it's the legendary Pokemon mixed with what well, looks mixed, guys. We don't know yet, but it just looks mixed with Necrozma. It has to probably a story mode with Necrozma. I'm showing you a picture. Um, there's a an additional warp um, that you see in 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 Alola, the Alola region, which again looks like a wormhole from Ultra Beast. So again, not surprised there, but it's just it's not hyping me up. This trailer didn't do the same. Um, and also, you guys, if you guys notice, they did they have not been. Releasing as much information on Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon than they had with Sun and Moon. Um, we don't know if there's new Alolan forms. We don't know if there's new Pokemon involved. Um, we know there's new Legendaries, even though they're the same Legends. 
but the information hasn't been coming out like fire like they was last year when Sun came out. You guys remember Sun and Moon? Uh, they were coming out monthly. It was just monthly, monthly. We had a demo. We had everything. But this time we have no information whatsoever. You know, they're, they're coming out slowly. And I guess that's to bring in hype. Because last year they had so much information that when you got the game you kind of knew half of the game. And some people already knew the entire freaking Pokedex before the game came out. So they're pretty smart this time, but again, is it really hyping you up that it, you, gotta, you gotta go get the game? It, it's just, it's, even with Black and Black and White 2, I think it was a, a time period before they came out. Uh, even, and I haven't played both, so I, I'm not gonna compare the two games. I'm not, I'm, I, I, there are people comparing it. I'm not gonna compare because I personally haven't played Black and White, Black and White 2. Don't say anything if you're like, oh my god. But yeah, you guys, I I, I just don't think that, that they're hype. Like, there's people hyping it up, making it like this top game, this new game coming out. It in person to me personally, it's not something that's it just shouldn't be even worth forty dollars in my opinion. But it shouldn't like be this overhyped. And they're playing it smart because I think they learned a lesson from last year. But, you guys, my question to you is, with this new trailer, and, and just with the launch of Pokemon Ultra Sun Moon coming up, is this hyping you up to get the game, just like it was with Sun and Moon last year? Are you going to be, you know, there when the game comes out, playing it all the time, lining up at midnight on release day to get it, or is this just another, you know, this is just another Pokemon game that you could wait on, um, or is this is just... To you, you're not getting it at all because it just isn't bringing your attention. Let me know down in the comment section down below. I know this video was short. I just want to talk to you about the trailer, let you know what I think is going to happen, um, and let you know my thoughts on the trailer. Uh, but yeah, you guys, as always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button down below and subscribe so you can get caught up on Ultra Sun Ultra Moon news and Pokemon content. I am having a LP coming really really soon for you guys so yeah you guys uh hope you enjoyed this is willie rolling out peace